Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be talking about Ghostbusters 101 number 5, which hit the stands today. As with the other Ghostbusters 101 issues and all the good Ghostbusters comics in recent years, this story was created by Eric Burnham and Dan Sconing, whom John and I did an interview with a couple months ago. If you'd like to check it out, the link will be in the description below. For me, this issue was by far possibly the slowest moving of the entire Sconing Burnham series. It did have a few good parts, mainly dealing directly with Holtzman. The first of which was when Holtzman met Walter Peck for the first time, which you can only imagine how that played out. The second, of course, was Holtzman and Vakeman's conversation in the Ecto-1, where Holtzman tries converting their traps into a kind of Bluetooth setup so that she can remotely activate the traps. But then we have Abby getting down on herself because she's realizing she isn't as special as she once thought. It should have been her to make all these discoveries and technological advances, but then Aaron snaps her out of it, just in time for Holtzman to get back to see that Ray gutted her baby and turned it into a mobile containment unit. While I'm really enjoying the series and can't wait to see where IDW's Ghostbusters Answer the Call takes us when it's finally released, I will say this issue was fairly slow. Not quite as entertaining as the others, but it was still good nonetheless. So head on out to your local comic book shop today and pick up a copy of Ghostbusters 101 number 5 on sale now. For Come Again TV, I'm Shannon, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you to subscribe for more content and give us a like because every time you do, you protect the memory of lesser known heroes and comic book publishers.